Assalamu alaikum, hey and welcome to the Muslim Life Coach Institute podcast. This is Abdul Shaheed, master coach, trainer and therapist. And this is where I help you to coach yourself and your clients on how to overcome anxiety, fear and all of the emotional baggage that keeps so many of us stuck in our minds, our lives and our relationships. Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of the Muslim Life Coach Podcast. And uh, I've got a special episode here actually. This is actually going to change your experience of life. Why is it going to change your experience of life? Because I'm going to help you beyond this. I've got a 60 day program to launch your life and to transform your mind, your spiritual connection and to create anything you want to create over the next 12 months. This is the beginning of a million Muslim minds to transformation through the science of the nafs. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you because I've been thinking about this for, oh, subhanAllah, I've been thinking about this for a decade. I've been working on this for a decade. And, uh, and really, it's the biggest problem solver ever. In fact, you know, when I say I've been working on it for a decade, I spent pretty much the whole of my life trying to figure this out and uh, for the last decade I've been trying to figure out um, how I'm going to take it to all of you how I'm going to bring it into your life like forget the million other people but how, how do we bring it into your life so here let me tell you a little bit about this you know one of the challenges one of the great challenges that we face in life is that we have this constant oscillation between being okay and being in a state of struggle we have good times and we have bad times we feel um, imbalance just creeps up on us like imbalance just creeps up on your life and when you least expect it you start to feel overwhelmed you start to feel overwhelmed you start to feel exhausted as a result right and uh, many of my clients you know I work with just about everyone like high performing high functioning i work with people who have been stuck for years depression anxiety and uh and it you know we're all human beings and i want to i want to show you that actually regardless of whether you you consider yourself high functioning or low functioning like everyone goes through this like everyone oscillates between um you know the okayness and the struggle and here's the thing that imbalance that creeps up on us it's what creates the overwhelm and the exhaustion because you feel fear you feel fear um, what if I fail myself what if I fail in my life what if I fail my kids what if I affect my loved ones so bad and uh, and I sit there watching them having this bad experience of life and it's all my fault like we have this type of thinking going on and you know this what if it is so destructive it is so destructive i'm going to talk to you about how you actually go about transforming your life and i'm going to introduce you to the mil- million muslim minds transformation but um i want you to uh, really understand is it for you like i know it's for you because uh I know that this is for all of humanity. However, um, I need to, I need you to know that it's for you, right? So here's the thing. If you have this constant imbalance creeping up on you, if you're always trying to find a fix, if you're always trying to escape your life, you know, with different, you know, means of escapism, right? Be it social media, be it keeping yourself busy, be it overworking, over socializing um whatever you do like everyone uses different uh, mediums of uh of um distraction right and i'm not saying that these things are all distraction but it is a distraction when we use it against ourselves it is a distraction when we use it to distract our attention and our mind away from the things that we we don't know how to solve right and we feel so bad about it like we keep ourselves busy in uh, a state of distraction and i've i've seen that you know i know look i work with uh mind health and wealth and uh, and i can tell you like you know many a times i see people um keeping themselves um sedated 
with social media, sedated with Netflix, sedated with YouTube, sedated with pleasure, sedated with shopping. Like you're const- we constantly keep ourselves in a state of sedation. Like sedating what? Sedating your mind so that you don't have to feel all of those feelings, right? Now, when this happens, like it's usually because you have this, you know, these thoughts that constantly plague your mind that create these horrible feelings, these horrible emotions. And when it does that, then what happens is that we want to escape it. And that's, you know, I get it. I, you know, it's nothing, you don't need to blame yourself, but I want you to understand it so that if you can understand it, you can change it. It's like understanding is like being able to touch something, hold it, right? Now, if you can't hold it, how could you possibly turn it around, right? So it's like, you're understanding your, you know, we call this wa'i, like uh, um, this awareness, right? If you are not aware of what's creating your problems, then you're always going to be focusing on the things that you mistakenly believe are the real problem, right? And what we want to do is that we want you to take total uh, loving ownership of your own life such that you can love your life. That's what we want right? So when we're talking about a million Muslim minds to transformation, like know that you are not alone. Like you are with a million other Muslims, people like you and I, right? And you've got, you know, whether you're super productive or whether you've been stuck for a long time, whether you are constantly keeping yourself busy in work and, you know, whatever you do to escape it, I want to show you that there's a different way, right? So here's the thing. Um, I didn't used to be like this. I used to struggle with these things myself. Like I spent my entire life studying, you know, mental health and wealth and all of these things. Why? Because I wanted it just like you, right? I wanted that peace of mind. I wanted that tranquility. I studied theology for the sake of this. I studied psychology for the sake of this. Like, um, this is not Freudian psychology, by the way. This is the ilm nafs This is the science of the nafs. This is a Quran and Sunnah-based psychology, right? Because you can, you can rely on it because the designer designed it, right? The designer sent us revelation and, uh, and this is what the science of the nafs is based on. So here's the thing, look. The, t- the two problems that we all have, the problems that you have and I have and every other human being on the face of the planet has, is that we're oscillating between the, these, these experiences. And when you are constantly in this state, you lose your confidence, you lose your, you know, your self-respect even, right? You, you start to not trust yourself. And when you do this, it actually what's happening is that you lose yourself in your mind to such a degree that it takes over your mind it dominates your mind it impacts the level of energy that you have you start to feel you know a lack of energy you start to feel exhausted you start to feel overwhelmed like many of my clients many of my students you know be it therapists be it doctors be it professionals be it homeschooling mothers whatever they all have the same experience and it's coming from where it's coming from their spiritual mind connection that those two things those are the two things where all of this begins and if you if you have gone to the specialist or the or you know whoever you've gone to and you've been given you know you've been told that you've got you know thyroid issues or like you know you're constantly in a state of fatigue or whatever it is like most of the time like when i take my students through this even though they are trained to you know they are trained professionals in whichever area they're trained in like regardless of that regardless of what they know they're still struggling with it why because it it comes from these two things the spiritual and the mind right so so, spiritual psychological right so the ilm al-nafs the science of the nafs we are focused on the spiritual psychological and physiological connection like these three things so when you're having this you know this this disconnect in your mind spirit problem then what's really happening is that you start to feel disconnected and then even if you're doing your dua your 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 you know your prayers you're doing all of these things you're about that you're doing all of those things and you're still not feeling a relief then what tends to happen and this is where the spiritual comes from right what tends to happen is that we start to feel unappreciated we start to feel disconnected 
And then we start to wonder. The mind goes to wondering, you know, when will the relief come? When will the aid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come? And when that happens, you start to, you know, the the the, the spiritual disconnection starts to um, happen. And that's what happens. And um, And the mind just throws you into turmoil, right? And it throws you into turmoil because you've got these, you know, the the second problem with which is the incessant negative state of mind, the incessant negative thoughts that are dominating your experience, and uh, and even though you can overcome it by becoming like very positive and go out there and like distract yourself and do, and this is why people go to distractions, right? We 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 don't want to experience this, we don't want to feel it, so we go to all of that, and in the midst of that, what happens? is that your mind is dominated it, it, like we have a spiritual disconnect and then we have a mind disconnect and that will impact you that will impact you physically you'll you'll start to feel dismay you'll start to wonder why does your dua not work why do you feel alone why do you feel a spiritual disconnect and uh, and look the reality is i have people who are well grounded grounded in theology and psychology but they still have these problems why because you need you've got a you've got one of these two problems or both Right, and that will impact you spiritually. So here's the thing: you need to take steps to creating a foundation for success in your life. Right, and the foundation for success in your life requires you to have both a, f- um, a serene state of uh, mind and spirit. Right, spirit as in not the woo-woo spirit, like spirit as in your connection with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And I'm saying this because that connection. It's your vital source of life. It's the lifeline, right? We need that. Every human being needs that. And, you know, we, need, you know, look, imagine this. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us the revelation. And in revelation, we've got, we've got the, you know, the salawat al-khamsa, the, the five daily prayers. We've got the adhkar in the morning and the evening. We've got lots of different stuff, right? And you're doing all this stuff and you're thinking, why is it not working? Well, all of that stuff does work. It all it all works, but sometimes what happens is that when you have a an imbalance in the you know either psychological or spiritual, like it you know it has its knock on effect. The side effects are that it impacts your 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 mind spirit connection, and so what we need to do is that we do need those rituals. We need those rituals because they make it easy for us, right? But what we need to do is we need to inject you know, the spiritual connection into that. Because the spiritual, the connection that we, we need, you know, when our, you know, state is devoid of that spiritual connection, then we start to experience all of these things, right? And here's the thing, like, you can totally get over this. You can totally change all of this. And and you really got to focus on those two things, the mind, the, the, the spiritual and the psychological. Those two things are so intrinsically linked when I train my coaches and therapists, when I train my students to go through their own life transformation, like when they're going through the Nas Transformation Program, like the thing that I do is that we we lace your life with the Quran and the Sunnah. Like that's the easiest way for you to understand it. Like, and we don't do it in in the traditional way, you know, education and that sort of stuff. We this is, you know, a process of transformation. And he, so here's the thing. Look, I don't want to. I don't want you to think that there's no way, there's always a way. And I want you to understand that you can totally get this on point and you can change your life going forward. And you just got to decide that you're willing to change your life. You just got to decide that you're willing to actually um, have the life that you want. You got to decide on that, right? Because most of the time when I ask people that, they're, they're in hesitation. You know, I don't know if I want it. I don't know. It, maybe it's too painful. Listen, isn't it painful being stuck? Isn't it painful not taking the steps isn't it painful to be in a constant state of flux between being okay and being in a state of struggle like that's painful so if you're gonna have to feel a pain then uh, you're already feeling it and what I want you to understand is that you can actually get yourself to a place where you have a solid foundation and that's what the million Muslim minds transformation is like what I'm gonna be doing over the next 60 days it's a 60 day program eight weeks i'm going to be taking you through a transformation i'm going to be sharing with you short 30 minute digestible classes where you actually change you know you start working on your foundation you set the blueprint of your life now this blueprint what it's going to do is that 
you know, and I want you to think about it like this. You know, when whenever you um, think, imagine yourself to be an architect or a, a, a developer. You want to build an amazing, beautiful structure of a building, right? Now, you're not going to get to work on that building until you've totally mapped out the entire um, blueprint. Like, you know where the doors are, the windows are, you know the dynamics, you know the depth of the the foundation, you know how tall it's going to be, how many floors they're going to be, you know where the greenery is going to be, you, you've planned out the landscaping around it, a beautiful garden, you've planned out everything, right? You plan it all out, you create a blueprint for it before you go to work creating it. Before you actually create it, you've got to create the blueprint. And here's the thing, the blueprint the most important part of that blueprint is setting your foundations. You know, your foundation, it is, you know, if it's weak, then you can't build a lot on top of it, right? So if you're going to have a huge structure of a building, like an amazing, magnificent, amazing building, like beautiful building, like in order to have that and to make it so strong that it lasts for hundreds of years, like you've got to make the foundation super strong super resilient like super flexible like it has to have all of the key ingredients so what we're going to do in the million muslim minds transformation program over 60 days i'm going to help you to create that blueprint i'm going to help you to create that blueprint and then i'm going to help you to go to work in creating that right what we're going to do is that we're going to make sure that the next 12 months of your life is the most transformational life you ever experienced. We're not we're going to help you to break the cycle that you've been in and to create a life that you want. You're going to design it. You're going to I'm going to show you how to do it and you're going to take the steps and do it. I'm going to share with you like short digestible like powerful lessons to help you to take your life to the next level if you really want to get unstuck if you really want to take your life to the next level you want to create impact in the world you want to create your dunya akhira success like this is what it's all about this is what it's all about and it's based upon the quran and the sunnah it is based upon the science of the nafs and we're going to focus on spiritual psychological and physiological like the three like we're gonna the physiological part is going to be really about bringing it out into the real world and making it happen because you don't want to be sitting in dreamland for the rest of your life you want to actually create it you want to actually experience it and you want to love it and um and this is what it's all going to be about so if you are interested in doing that join me join me on the program go to the muslim life coach the t-h-e muslimlifecoach.org o-r-g forward slash million m-i-l-l-i-o-n so the muslimlifecoach.org forward slash million and uh let's begin to take a leap in transforming your life let's take your life to a place that you have only been thinking about up until now and if you haven't been thinking about it you're going to get ready to actually create that blueprint and to take a massive leap and i'm going to support you in doing that and here's your part this is a free program but what the, what i expect from you is that my goal and my mission with this program is to help a million muslims transform their minds so that they can transform their lives so that they can we can you know individually one at a time have such massive impact on this world that it creates a beautiful life experience that we can take with us into the akhirah, right? So here's the, here's the thing. Your role in this is that I want you to share this podcast. I want you to share the link and I want you to sign up, get all of the other Muslims that you know who could really, um, who really want to up-level their life, like share it with them. We want to get this out to a million Muslims so it transforms their lives. And uh, But here's the thing. Don't give it to a million Muslims to transform their lives and you're just sitting there watching everyone else do it. Like, this is about you. And I'm going to help you to do it. So let's take it to the next level. Let's create the abundance, the, the mind, health and wealth in your life. And let's take it to other people. Let's, let's allow that to impact other lives. Like, that's what we want. That's what I'm going to be doing here. And uh, and I'm gonna love it, and inshallah you will too. Jazakumullah khair.